Greetings and salutations, YouTube it's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today at the Goodwill in Tustin on Orange is I believe what this street and store is. But if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, home decor, do not forget to subscribe with the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. I have you on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at Hadrian.com to see whatever sale from my thrifting ventures. But without further ado, let's hop in the store and go check it out. All right, let's head inside. All right, you guys, we are in the handbag section. There's a Sabina bag, but nothing too spectacular. Yeah. I kind of like this color combo. That looks kind of fun. This is a fake Prada bag. You can tell by the R. There is usually definitely a little notch right there. But the R is. So that one is not authentic. It's a kind of cool wallet in that bag. This purple is kind of pretty. It's a Liz Claiborne bag for $7.99. Bunch of backpacks. Some Becky Johnson bags. Those stuff buttons. I found some of um, these Culver glasses. I looked them up. They're kind of like priced like usually, I think like set for a set like this, around like 40 to 100 something. And for there's eight of them. I honestly kind of like them, but I don't know how well, like, Hello, how good the condition is for these. Because I'm, like, and not too good with the experience for selling, like, vintage stuff like this, but I still think they're really off, cool and pretty. Off. You guys, how sad those are these chairs. They are so good. I love, like, the bamboo. I'm trying to see how much they are. Oh my god, they're gonna make me, like, drop them on my face. I think they're, like, 50. I took a chair down, it was $40. The side table around thing is kind of cool. Alright, you guys, I found the highball version of these, and they are $80. I don't know, I'm considering them so I did grab them just so I have them, but we're looking around to see what else we can find. If there's anything cool and interesting. Oh, look! This is an anthropology letter E mug. Only 99 cents. I think I'm gonna get this. It's in really good shape too by the looks of it. I just found some Vieira Wayne for Wedgwood glasses. There's another one right there by the looks of it. You guys, I just found these Emma cups from Pottery Barn, but they're chips, so I'm sad about it. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Like a little leaf of the frog. Oh my gosh. I wonder what this is food safe. It's adorable. Oh my gosh, look at that beard made of flowers. Just for you. That's kind of cute. What else do we have? These bumblebees are fun. See, speak. We're just missing the one for hearing. Alright, you guys, I spotted this large metal hydro flask, which is like a little dented on the bottom and like a little one at the top. I mean, it's not the worst. I also found this smaller one. Also metal. Hmm. This one doesn't have a price though. Alright you guys, we just got to Costa Mesa. We're gonna head over to the Crossroads store. It's just around the corner. So I'll see you guys there. Alright you guys, we're looking for the handbags. Coach. Coach, lots of coach. Ooh! I'm back on the clock. It's jumping off at me. By Mark. Last well, right that guys, but they're only 37. Coach. Coach. More of Becca. It's oh, only 25. I found this Domain shirt. Only 36.15. 
You guys, check it out. I got some Givon Fishy. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house. I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today from the thrift because we got some really amazing stuff. So, um, in this particular video, because I filmed a lot of videos this week, so don't forget to subscribe so that you guys are notified when those videos do go up throughout the week because I've got some really great stuff. But this one, this little haul is probably the best, one of the best ones of the day. And I got some really interesting things, okay? So let me just start off with like the least interesting <laughs> <laughs> but um, I got this because uh, my brother loves this show and if you guys are fans of One Piece Please give this video a big thumbs up because this is John's favorite anime and manga Is that how you pronounce it? I wish John was here to say it for me, but yeah The next thing I have here is this letter E anthropology cup these I collect. When I have like too many of the same letter, I will put them up for sale in the shop. And I don't know how many letter E's I have, but I definitely want to collect the whole alphabet. So depending on how many of these I have, if I even have one, then I'll put it in the shop. I really want to be able to like spell words because I'm crazy like that. Oh, this is another <laughs> random. I bought such random things today. The next thing I have here is this Orb Flow Tanya flows from solid to fluid in seconds. I have no clue what this is. It's like kinetic sand or something. I got this because Elizo is obsessed with kinetic sand. And how could I not buy that for him being his favorite uncle? Like I have to get it for him. Boil him a little bit. Next thing I have here is this beautiful, honestly don't know what this is. Perhaps it's an ice bucket. I don't know. Is it crystal? But um, it's really pretty. I actually want to use this as a plant pot. Um, I would put like a regular pot in here, of course, and not just like put the plant in the crystal or glass. Though that would be kind of cool. Like what if I did like an orchid? No, it needs like drainage. Yeah, I, like I'd never like to put anything inside things without drainage. So I'd probably put a plant in here, but I would like water it, like take it out, water it, let the water drip and then put it back inside. And this I think would be really pretty for that. Or I could probably use it as some sort of like ice bucket or whatever it's actually probably intended for, which is probably what it is. Uh, if anyone knows where this is made, let me know. I noticed like less expensive crystal or glass or whatever usually has like a seam and this one has one right here. So like I feel like it's not like something like super duper fancy It's like not Tiffany's or anything, but it was only five dollars and ninety-nine cents So I thought well, why not? It's really pretty and I really do want to use this as a planter of some sort So I thought this was like really cool and interesting. So I got that. Let's just put this over here. Then up next, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with different types of bakeware and one of my favorite ones is Pampered Chef. I don't remember if my mom used to sell it. No, she didn't sell it. She sold like creative memories. I think her best friend sold Pampered Chef. But anyway, uh, she would buy like Pampered Chef products and they are literally so fantastic. If you guys have like um, our, like our old oven before, like it didn't heat up evenly. Like different, there'd be like hot spots and cold spots in the oven. And when we would bake stuff or cook stuff, like it would kind of cook unevenly. And our answer to that was Pampered Chef. Like Pampered Chef is amazing. Like we are finally able to have cookies that cooked evenly <laughs> on the cookie sheet. That's what this is. A Pampered Chef cookie sheet. So I'm very excited. This was $5.99. This is in fantastic condition. It looks like they made like brownies or something on here once because I can see the cut marks from the knife. But it's still like in fantastic condition. It's like new. So I went ahead and picked it up. These things are pretty expensive. And I don't think we have too many of these because I don't really see these like the cookie sheets at the thrift as much. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up. Okay. And then, okay. So we also went to Crossroads and I found two Two amazing items that I'm so excited about. And one of them is this Pierre Balmain shirt. And it has this amazing tiger embroidered on here. And then it says Pierre Balmain on the bottom. I think this shirt retailed for like $400, I think. I was looking it up and I was looking for comps and I only found one of them for sale and it was like for $250. I don't think I'm going to sell this. I think I'm going to keep it for myself. The shirt was only $32.50. But that was a deal. Plus I actually really like it. I love tigers. It reminds me of this. I used to have this really cool Lucky Brand jacket like back when I was like in high school. And I don't know what happened to it. Like I think like I left it somewhere at school and like, someone stole it or something and I was so sad. It had like this really cool tiger like embroidered on the back of it and it was also like right here on the front left and like this tiger totally reminds me of it so this tiger is replacing my lost 
last and missing childhood. No, <laughs> my last tiger jacket from Lucky Brand. So, oh my gosh, if I ever found that jacket again at the thrift store, I'm manifesting it like literally right now. If I find that that tiger jacket again at the thrift store, like at the thrift store, because before I bought it actually at the store, but it was like on sale. So that was a really good deal also still. I mean, it would probably be an even better deal if I, th if I saw it at the thrift store. That would be truly amazing. It would make my life so but right now i have that to suffice until then i'll tithe me over but this is the piece de resistance of the day and these were um on the back behind the register so always look behind the register when you get when you guys go to the store like they have things in display cases they have things on display in the back like look everywhere because you never know what you're gonna find and this is what i found i found these authentic pair of um givenchy these are the rottweiler slip-ons and they have like the rottweilers on the front and this was such a good buy 32.50 like that was the same price as this shirt and the shoes are honestly like not in bad shape at all like probably just need a little cleaning around the edges and um, a little bit of conditioning and it'll be good to go like these are amazing i wish they fit me they're a size 13 so they are huge these are definitely gonna to go in the shop for someone that's going to be able to wear a size 13 shoe and unfortunately that is not me like i'm literally crying inside right now if you can only look inside of my heart it is broken it's melted it's on the floor <sighs> yeah but i'm really happy that i found these shoes though so this is very exciting they're gonna make someone very happy and i cannot wait so go check it out when this video goes up these will hopefully be in the shop so um yeah go check it out it's hater.com the link is down below in the description box anyway that is going to be the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to say hi down below in the comments especially if you guys are new to the channel welcome i'm so happy to have you guys here um, don't forget to check out tomorrow's new video bright and early at 7 a.m and remember i'm putting up the rest of the videos throughout the week a video every single day i love you guys so much i'm proclaimed I'm gonna cry because you guys are leaving. All right, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right.